Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. Sunday, July 4th, 2021. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast, of Determine Length, episode number uh, 607. And uh, I just realized that the uh, positionings of uh, people's video and the uh, today's thing is uh, off because the previous couple of episodes things were a little wider. Oh. Okay. So I'm adjusting positions. Am, am I am I off? Should I? The, Should I? No, both you and I were off, but the, I just need to do something on my end. It. I ah, uh, but apparently we've been off start for over years. again. No, no, do we no, need to do fine, a take two? Like, what do we? No, it's fine. <laughs> I've just, been off. I'm, for I'm just years. stating I noticed that so that when people are watching the video and see this little white space on on Damon's video, oh. and, and see me look over to the side doing something, um, I'm just fixing that. <laughs> That's all. Oh. I thought um, that was in the same place, but it wasn't exactly, so I had to put it back. That's fine. It's fine. Um, there are things on here. Anyways, what's going on? I'm now working Monday through Fridays. Woo! I'm working a uh, uh, nine, nine to, to I'm working a nine to five Pacific time. No, I'm working an eight to five Pacific time. I can do math, really. I can. Which is ten to seven my time, which is eleven to eight your time. <laughs> but I have to work ten to seven my time because our bosses on the on the west coast. <laughs> So we kind of have to think up, think up with them. And uh, I'm also um, we 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 have an official title now. Uh, my official title is training associate. Ooh. My unofficial title, which uh, my boss actually doesn't like, my manager, the the, the guy I'm working under, uh, uh, is uh, a training lackey. I mean, I'll be blunt and honest. Um, I don't like that title either. So, um, yeah, that's why I always consider it as like the casual title. It's like, hey, you need something done that you can't do. Uh, just have me do it. So I'm your lackey. You know. I mean, if you're okay with that, if that if the consent is there, then fine. Yeah, but... I mean, like on all official documentation, if anything ever said what my title was, it's training associate. I just call call myself as lackey. So. so in other words, you're a TA. Yeah, basically. One of the one of the very <laughs> one of the very first positions uh, that I learned of when I went into training and training development myself in my career, we we had TAs who were the people that assisted the trainers, and then you had the trainers, and then you had the training manager. Training development was a little bit different, but yeah. So, Me. congrats. I am the second person to be in this department. Actually, I'm not sure if it's officially department yet. Division? Sect? 
but like grouping. we have we have one team doing doing this job we have one team doing this job so they're kind of like that the different departments uh, different departments you know? we never really had an actual department see it was just a manager and that's it and now it's but the now manager has and me. you and so we doubled in size you. She's the 80 sitcom. <laughs> Which means uh, uh, streaming schedules are adjusting. Um, trying to, yes. to still figure out what I want to do for that. Um, with Drag Race coming around, uh, you guys, I believe you you guys are planning on recording Drag Race in the evenings, right? Possibly. That is, yeah, that is currently the plan, but... Yeah. Okay. We'll, figure, we'll, we'll <laughs> I'll let you guys figure that out. We'll, 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 that's a more of an offline thing. But programming notes. Uh, in addition, uh, I I put down here. Uh, one brings shadow. One brings light. Um, which is lyrics to a song to uh the uh the basically the the official theme song to the Shadowbringers expansion of Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, I finished. I'm done with the game, essentially. Um, uh, the main story quests. I don't have anything until the next expansion. And I do have to You're say, done. say there have been plenty of times where where I'm waiting for a queue or something, or just bored, or it's like the end of the evening. I'm about to log off anyways, but I still want to do something because I don't want it want to log off right now because it's like only like 20 minutes till bedtime. I will pop into one of the ends and watch one of the cutscenes from this expansion because it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. There are some epic moments, sad moments, nice moments. It's it's so good. Cool. Oh. And now, right. so now I need to figure out like so now I need to level all my other jobs. I got 480. I, now I just got like with my spreadsheet. Which is taking forever to load. Here we go. I have twenty four jobs more jobs to get to, to, to eighty. Cool. Yeah. Across the board, or just with one character? Well, with just one, one character. Oh. Because one character can do all the jobs. Of course they can. Yeah, well, unlike WoW, which is like one character, technically they could do up to three jobs. Or four if you count the difference between melee and ranged. It's DPS. But... Yeah, it's like it's a jewel cool. you're limited to these four specs. Well, in Final Fantasy fourteen, you've got all the specs. Yeah, yeah, like all of it. Twenty eight, twenty nine if you but include it... Blue Mage, but that's a limited job, and you can't get that up to, to eighty. It's not in my counts right now, but if you want to do it, you can do it all. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool, although then it's like. Okay, so I went through the main story quest and like basically power leveled this one. How do I level these other other, you know, jobs? Well, you have to do dungeons and side content and it's very boring. And it mm. makes me kind of miss like in WoW where if I want to do another class, I roll a new character and I can go through the main story again, it gives me pretty good XP. So and I could level that way. So what I kind of wish they would, if anything, option is there's a mode in Final Fantasy XIV called New Game Plus, where you can basically replay um, the story in, in some of the, the quest lines. And I kind of wish that you could New Game Plus in this new job and level through that. But it doesn't give you experience. Mm. They, they, it's just an additional fun feature if you decide, hey, I want to actually play through that content again instead of like just watch a cutscene in an end. Hmm. 
So. Okay. But. Well, good for you. It's really good. It's really well, hopefully good. that'll be a feature they fix in the future or bring on. See, I don't know if they would think that as as a something that needs to be fixed. It's more of like a feature added. It's like, hey, do you want to level your all jobs? Would you like to play the story again? Hey, let's do that all together by using this mode. But, I don't know. I just, I just wish they would do that. You don't think, you don't get any rewards going through New Game Plus. So any of the rewards to the quests that you would be doing during that, you don't get any rewards. So. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a kind of it's trying to figure that that balance. So you know, anyways, I've I've been okay. I've been having a gay old time per se, doing that, and I also uh, started a new D and D game tomorrow, uh, last Monday. <laughs> When this airs, cool. it will be in a week, which is like last Monday, which is actually tomorrow. That's what. That's why. Uh, I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. Damon. I got it. How's been your dude? I got it. I got it. Um. So, um, yeah. So, um, Jim and I celebrated our 18th anniversary. Um, this past June. I'll say really. Um, um, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Go on, continue. Stop it with that, Gary. That was Damn. not be <laughs> Okay. I'm grinning ear to ear because I'm very proud of that joke. <laughs> um, anyway, um, <laughs> so we celebrate our anniversary. Um, one of the new things that I did this year in particular um, was I actually posted a picture of us and, and on Facebook and shared it to the, not the world, but to my friends list at least. Um, as opposed to kind of subtly mentioning Jim, you know, as always, often as often as often as I do. Um, and I was really happy with like all the love that I got on Facebook for it, um, and including from family members who um, I've not really been quote unquote out to. So yeah, that was kind of nice. Um, my um, one of my aunts on my mother's side um, um, posted a little, just a little, like a little gif of the happy anniversary, and it actually made my heart, you know, feel good because it's. I've not. Uh, for those that don't know, well, I've talked about this enough on the show. You've been listening over the years. Um, my outness to my family has been slow, um, at least in regards to me pronouncing it. I'll put it like that. Um, uh, I have come out to a few people, like when Jim and I moved in together here, um, I came out to my mother, like he came out to his family, side of the family. We agreed that I would come out to, you know, my mom. Um, I decided not to come out to my dad, which I kind of wish I had at least at some point. But, um, again, that's not saying, and I'm going to put this out there, that no, they didn't know. Mm. I'm saying I have not confirmed it. So, yeah. So there's that. Definition. But it was when you when you come out doesn't mean they don't they, they didn't know before you came out. So, it it's it's one of those things. Right. And the and the thing is is that um sometimes you don't really have to. Yeah. Like, you just kind of live your life, and they live their life. And, I mean, there's a part of me that instinctually wanted to kind of be an ass to you and be like, like, they don't know. I mean. (laughs) Really? I mean, fair. Like, so, again, one of the things that I had decided, I have been deciding to do over the years, especially on Facebook and stuff, is I stopped giving a fuck. Like, to keep it simple. Like, um, I stopped, like, 
hiding things and not posting things and not saying certain things and not, you know, supporting things essentially in the grander scheme of things because of my veil of a uh, closet. It's a veil. It wasn't really a full on closet. You could see through it. It's kind of there. Maybe a little, you know, transparency. The but closet like, was an alcove, but uses a curtain instead of a, a or yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it was, was like kind of sheer. Curtain. Yeah, a beaded curtain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like one strand. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but um um but that was sort of the thing. Like and Jim kind of has said that that's kind of how he was too. Like we're not pronouncing it to the world, but we're not hiding it per se. You know, um but uh I I family has mentioned that they've known for a while off and on. I've had, you know, family members come up and talk about things and um, I've talked with them, so I know a few family members that do know already and have confirmed with them. So it was just kind of a cool thing. So I was really happy to see that. Um, yay for that. Um, uh, finally, in regards to gaming, I'm on a bit of a routine. Um, we have, we're playing two games now. One of them in particular with regards to D&D. Um, actually, I'm playing three. Uh, one of them... Um, just yesterday um, has decided to, uh, because there are so many people that are interested in playing the game, uh, he has split it up and he's playing every Saturday. Um, so some people are in one group and some in another. Jim and I obviously are in one group on our together and on our own. So we'll just kind of be keeping with the same cycle. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that because it means there's some relative normalcy that I can plan around with the other game um that is uh third game not yeah yeah the third game to kind of get that one on some normalcy even though that one's more um we have to go further and it's with other people so yeah good to have that and finally um oh we were talking about it during pre-show, um, but um, the men's chorus had their um, Pride concert drop, yes, June 26th. I'll just put it like that. <laughs> I knew I'd be being what it is. So June 26th, the men's chorus's concert dropped. Um, it should still be available on YouTube now. So if you want to check it out, Cincinnati Men's Chorus, or you can go to CincinnatiMensChorus.org. Um, and maybe if you like it so much, you can give us a little donation wink. Um, uh, but I was really happy with it. Uh, um, I actually really enjoyed some of the songs we did. Um, and I'm glad that it, we put this out there for everyone. It was a sing along, so you can play it in the comfort of your home and sing to all the songs. It's songs you should be familiar with, but if you're not, you'll, you'll learn them pretty quickly. Um, uh, uh, as mentioned <laughs> in pre-show, I did lend some aid to, um, our board president who was doing, um, the intros for some of the concerts, for the concert. And what he told me and I'm going to put the preface this with what I was told was that he needed props for his video to use and kind of like be in the background. as sort of like his thing for, for the concert. That was what I was told. So I was like, here's a bunch of stuff. Here's some makeup things. Here's some, some clothing items that I have. Here's a big wig that I've, I, I haven't worn in I don't know how long. So here's all this stuff. And it included like some um, lashes and some 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 lipsticks, um, some liquid lipsticks, some uh, um, eyeshadow palettes. It was the idea for me was to bring some bright and color to it so that it wouldn't so it would be showy in a in a prop situation. In a prop situation. But what, what had it, happened was what had happened was. <laughs> Um, what I didn't know was that, uh, my, um, uh, 
my board president, the board president, was actually going to put himself in face. I'm a, I'm a suit. God, I'm a God. I'm hoping he put himself in face. I'm hoping someone didn't come and do that for to him. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if you, oh. if you watch the video, just watch the first. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about because it's the first. You know, um, it's literally the first thing you see. And um, it, oh, mama, um, it was, so, it was something. So to catch everybody up, sorry, David, <laughs> yesterday I watched it pretty much live. Um, my my friend, uh, Heather's here visiting, and I was like, oh, there's something to watch, you know, whatever. So we ended up watching it. <laughs> and uh, I figured that David was going to figure out what was happening because... Um, I suddenly sent him a message and it says, girl, that opening drag queen makeup. <laughs> yes. It was, it, again, um, had I known, and I mean, and, and, and I'll put it, I'll add another caveat, in a post-COVID world, um, I might not have been the greatest at it, but I probably, probably would have put a face on him. I might not have been the greatest at it, but I could have at least done be something. Okay. It would be decent. It it would it would be it would be it would be at least ten times better than Thank what you. we got. Thank you. I was gonna say <laughs> I wasn't gonna multiply it. I was just gonna say it would have been better than what happened. Because girl, those lips <laughs> I was like, I don't I don't understand what's happening here. But yes. I was like, this is this is first time in drags competition realness at 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 the the ball, honey. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can you imagine that I've been on stage? Oh my. Well, and actually, I was okay until I get to the end of the entire show, and then the artistic director, the overall like president, blah blah. They're doing this like toast thing. And they're having this thing, and all these recognitions are being given, and then I recognize that. David is actually being recognized for the contribution. And I was like, oh, hell no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, 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 I beg to differ. I have a feeling <laughs> some of this was not David's doing. Yes. It was it was a beautiful moment. So, uh, so the chat continues and uh, basically says something to the effect of, uh, "Yeah, there was a uh, there was a disclaimer between the two of us that that makeup was not done by David. Um, was not aware that that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> of course, being a sassy ass, I was like, "Are we going to ask for a retraction?" Because like, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> But a, no, it was a it was a very nice concert overall. I liked it. Um, I think there's only one musical that I've never seen uh, mm-hmm. that everybody you know loves. And, no, uh, um, Dear Evan Hansen. Yes, Dear Evan Hansen. Ah, and everybody. Yes, I know there are gay gasps across the. <laughs> Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? No, because they think we lost him. Oh, Gary, where'd you go? No. Uh oh. What's happening? You got very like choppy right there. Yeah, you, you froze. Okay. You're back. Well, so now we can get gas. Come on. <gasps> Yeah, so, um, no, but I I really, I mean, I I like the song. There he goes again. Is it raining? Huh? Gary? Gary? I think we lost Gary. Or am I losing a Gary? He's, he's very um, <laughs> Sorry, hon. We've we've lost you like twice. Yeah. You keep freezing, though. Are you connected to your? 
Yeah, I'm I'm good. Things are things are fine. Can you hear me? Yes, no, yeah, maybe no. so. Yes, we, we can, we can hear, you. hear you now. Everything's fine at the moment. It's appar- apparently it doesn't like it when you go on a rant. <laughs> so, the, 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 so the listening audience won't see that that very subtle middle finger that Gary just gave me. <laughs> I mean, to me, it just looked like he was itching his eye. Oh. Mm. Wait, hold on. So uh, I would. Uh, <laughs> mm, mm. Eyes just kind of like you need to rub them. Yeah, yeah, just wrap them. There's, some, there's just, something just going around bit. across uh, state lines. Imagine that. Uh, Anyways, oh. I was saying that I haven't seen uh, Dear Evan Hansen, but I did I did enjoy the song, but I understand why it's like, you know, the gut-wrenching end of Act 1, tear jerker, blah, 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 blah. Because, like, mm-hmm. you know, the gays love the dramatic. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. Wait a minute. Um, so yeah, gays? Was... Dramatic? <gasps> yes. Here's the thought. Yeah. Anyways. And it, yeah, so that's been pretty much me. Um, I was really happy with the concert. Um, I was really happy with what we did. Um, it was a lot of work. And uh, as Gary can kind of comp- com- comment on, um, the artistic director kind of very much indicated that this was this was a lot. And it always has been. This has been new for every chorus or uh, entertainment producing person. Anyone that is like a drag queen or a drag professional or musicians or whatever that are doing things online, there's a, there's work, it's work. And in this case, with the chorus stuff and the virtual videos and things, it's a labor. And the chorus members only do so much. There's more to it that kind of gets done in on the back end with editing video and edit, um, um, editing, editing audio and getting it to sync and making sure everything works well. And then and then putting it all together and making it look presentable. Um, it's it's totally different to where if we had been on stage singing a concert to an audience. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I appreciate all the work that gets done to it really, really much because the products are always have always been great. Uh, we have some very talented folks here that have done, who did some really fun visual work for the concert to make it not only just um, appealing to the eye, but um, it wasn't the same over and over again. There was just enough change to kind of make it interesting. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, which is what you won't really get in a concert sometimes, because most of the time we're just standing on stage and singing at you. So, right, there's that. Um, the goal is for we're going to take obviously we're done for the year and the chorus will take a break and then we'll be returning to live rehearsals and live performances in September for a holiday concert. That is the hope. We'll see what happens because COVID is a thing, still a thing. Don't don't think it's done just because you know you know it, people are getting, getting vaccinated, there. et cetera. Mm-hmm. It's getting there, but it's still a thing. So mm-hmm. so you never know. So but yeah, I'm good about it. So yeah, Gary didn't mean to go on that long, but Gary, it's you? okay. Um, I said the race, <laughs> the quote unquote race to quote unquote normal. And here's the why. Um, people are acting like people are, are very rapidly acting like last year, the year that we don't talk about didn't happen. Um, people are out, out doing things, being social, spending money. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that noise. Um, so I'm I'm. I'm I'm having reservations about what will come, how things will be, but it is nice when i choose to take an adventure out into the world and be around other people um to see that today uh we actually went to a little street fair festival um got to see some local artists doing some things uh there's a lovely young lady who's originally from the area that's going to school for art in georgia that is making a plant 
planters, like plant hanging uh, items, out of disco balls. Mm. Those were very fun. Mm. Um, so, yeah, like, and so we got to have some very yummy crepes and some ice cream, mm. and uh, it is balls hot already. So, <clears throat> yay, climate change. Uh, so that's that's that thing. Um, and I have the door closed in my office right now, so it's getting really warm in here. Yay. Mm. So, um, but yeah, no, it's uh, the race to Norville has been ongoing. Um, I'm I feel very mixed about it. You know, like the the economy is, you know, most likely doing pretty well. We'll find out later how the month and the quarter did. Um, but, you know, the vaccination rates are kind of going down and stuff like that. And I was a little uh, dismayed recently to discover that there's some. <sighs> Because I work in HIV, you know, that some entities are still not, like, up to 2021, like, awareness of things. So they kind of make references or standards to stuff, you know, like a decade and a half ago. And I'm kind of like, um, y'all know what year it is, right? So <laughs> kind of kind of need to get, uh, you know, up with the modern times. But, yeah, so uh, just been doing, you know, little itty bitty things. Um, it's strange how when you have little tasks in your own space you feel accomplished like you know the window treatments or you know uh got a couple polos for work got some new dress shoes you know just little little things but um you know i'm i'm i don't I, I, this is what i mean by normal i'm like i guess this is the no, the usual stuff we do <laughs> you know like you know like but all of that kind of went by the wayside it all just kind of stopped it's like, because you're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything. You're not seeing anybody. So. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That's just me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, yeah. Nice. Um, so, let's let's actually now go to a segment we haven't done in probably years. <laughs> It's Urban Dictionary with Gary. You realize I now have to look this up because I'm like, mm. I, I did question the years part, but at least over a year is not longer. Oh, gosh, that's a good question. I don't even know when the last time we did this was. So now I got to Now I got to go back and research or game you you like game and do it. I'm working on it. Let's we'll see what I can find. You talk about um, me. Didn't even think about that, did you? November last year. <clears throat> oh, okay. Thank you very much. See? Oh, November of last year. Wow, really? It was right. Like... Well, that's still months ago. Friends giving. No, 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 no. The the word the keyword used was years, and I was like, Oh, really? oh you're like I don't oh, it's not really that damn long. I don't know. We have a, We we don't do this very often. Anyways, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh oh i do have to look up something real quick because i just realized i forgot hang on um oh. we are uh -oh. so organized no 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 no, no. Uh, this just popped into my head episode 580 see i had to go look it up so about uh 27 episodes ago we did a let's talk about sex called sides and mr ah. edward angelini cook joined us and we had a conversation about men who do not have penetrative sex mm. so that's where this is coming from so we have this urban dictionary term which is really i'm debating on whether it's really an urban dictionary term but uh it's listed there it's called guinage it's spelled g-o-u-i-n-a-g-e guinage it's a french term meaning to have sex without penetration it's usually just achieve, achieving an orgasm uh, during foreplay, but can also involve masturbation or oral sex. Uh, formerly used uh, with lesbians, but can also be applied to gay sex, obviously. And the example is, I was with a guy yesterday that didn't want any penetration, was only into guinage. I don't know why we have to be dramatic and put an exclamation point at the end, but there you go. 
So, um, but it came up in a, a conversation uh, for folks uh, regarding side as a um, role. And I was so, like, oh, how interesting. That's something to think about. So FYI, I'm, gonna, I'm going to caveat some things really quick because this is what I do. Yeah. So the last time we mentioned Urban Dictionary, period, was the Thanksgiving episode, mm-hmm. but we it wasn't an ur, it wasn't an Urban Dictionary with Gary. We were just providing the Friendsgiving Urban Dictionary definition. The last time we did Urban Dictionary with Ga- Gary was episode four forty four. Let's talk about sex, bottom friendly foods, and it was. The word was, <laughs> or the word was, oh, the word was Dutch rudder. I'm not going to say when, anything when, else. When, when, when was that? When was that? Yeah. Oh, you mean episode 444? Yeah. Um, it was December 10th, 2017. So I, I, I hold my statement. We haven't done the segment in years. <laughs> To quote a great drag queen, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. One shady show. That's all I got to say about mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Miss Heidi and Closet, for that famous RuPaul's Drag Queen. Cool. Mm. There and you go. So, uh,. <laughs> The reason why I thought the story was interesting is because some people don't think that side properly defines individuals who are, do not have penetration as part of their sex. So, like, their sexual activities. Mm-hmm. And and there's been debate about whether or not there should be an actual term created beyond or, or, or in change of side. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was interesting that the the reference was, oh, it appears there's already been a word existing for a great long time in French, at least. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, Guinage could include Rottage. Or talk. Yes, I believe but so. Anyway, but you can't have it as, like, two separate sort of things because it's really more of Taj is part of Guinage. This is me trying to put a French accent on both words. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's fair, you know, because fraudage is considered um, by definition the practice of touching or rubbing against the clothed body of another person in a crowd as a means mm. of obtaining sexual gratification. So um, I don't know if like people think of fraudage as specifically that, because even no. I was kind of like, I, I, I think that's like one version of fraudage. I don't think that whether you are clothed or unclothed, I think it's still fraudage. Right, because fraught or is like from the root, it means from French to rub. So like, I think that's why like fraudage wasn't used as like the uh, alternative because it's more about like a a version of guinage or, you know, what sides, you know, uh, could have. But anyways, yeah, so there's that. When you're talking about adding in oral sex, that's not necessary. That's not really fraudage, but you could have some fraudage and then have some oral sex. In that entire package would be guinage. Yeah. There you go. So there's our new term. Feel free to use it and confuse people. Yeah, it happens. Anyways, but let's get yeah, exactly. uh, let's get right into this. <laughs> And doing that really quick because uh, we this is really quick. Uh, over on Vimeo, yes, we have some videos on Vimeo. I haven't uploaded anything oh. to Vimeo in a long time, but it's there. Um, and uh, we'd like DK, thank DK for following. And we also have over on Patreon a new Uber, which is Frank B. So thank you for joining us over on Patreon. Yay! Yeah, I like to say it's it's the Uber. Uber. Instead of Uber, it's Uber. 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 
<laughs> I heard that. <laughs> oh, okay. Suddenly David's channeling the catalog of Bear Films memories he has. <laughs> Bear. Anyways. Anyways, Gary, uh, what's been going on this past month? Uh, so we've had a couple of shows, obviously. Uh, we had a What's Going On for May of 2021. That was CLL 603. And then Comes Out Loud number 604 was Landscape of Relationships. Apologies. Uh, so that's part of our ongoing series. <laughs> and um, Ed will be coming back uh, very soon. And we will be doing a show on forgiveness. We had to get apologies first. So that we could relate it to discussing forgiveness. Mm-hmm. So that will continue on. And then uh, we brought back Alti No Shade for Count Them, not one, but two episodes. So we discussed um, 2021 LGBTQIA Pride. Uh, part one was about corporations and their co-opting of the rainbow uh and or rainbow colors rainbow flag like you know basically to be like look 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 we you know we're we're part you know supportive of your community too Mm -hmm. Uh right you should really listen to that episode because we discussed the hrc index um how it doesn't take into account if corporations donate to anti-gay uh like politicians meaning politicians that uh have endorsed or voted or supported or sponsored anti-gay legislation here in the u.s um and because of that very show i changed my pharmacy because i did not know that my pharmacy had been supportive and made donations and i was like not with my dollars you won't god damn it uh-uh. not with my money all i yeah. could say is that uh i think i frequently i've I've always used Walgreens, which is what's not on that list, so we're good. Yes, it was. It's actually very... Was it? Uh, it? No, it was Walmart. Oh, they were both on it. They oh, were both, they were on, both there. on it? Yes. Yeah. I did look. not see Walgreens. I saw <laughs> anyway. the other one. Anyways, moving on. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it it took a little work. It actually took me a whole evening. Uh, I think it was Monday night after we had recorded the show. I like sat and read through and did a couple of things, including using a website that listed uh, it's all public domain, the donation amounts. So what you do is you put in the company name and then you can see if they've ever donated of who they mostly vote donate to uh, Democrats, Republicans, independents, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that made it a little challenging because the larger the corporation, the more frequency they are to donate. And then a week later, uh, we had episode 606, and it was all Tino Shade again. And this time, for the 2021 LGBTQIA plus Pride, we discussed kink. Because this year, there has been an issue. Nice, Damon. There's been an issue with uh, people having expressed opinions about kink and it not having a place at Pride or, you know, something alternative. Surprise, so. surprise. The gays have an opinion about something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, we uh, we also discussed that. And then here we are. It's the end of the month. Yeah. And what's really cool is we're, we're, we're rolling into the end of the show. Almost. We got two more segments, but we're almost there. Uh, let's go start off with this. <laughs> All right. That's enough of that so we don't get a another thing to it not that it really matters in any case uh over on twitter um i decided to choose uh, oh uh, i've been following this guy uh deus bear uh it just a nice little uh picture of him on the bed in you know, bikini or something i don't know but that's oh, probably going through through his ass crack uh but uh, he's just kind of like he's in position looking back all like come hither look at least that's what i think i have been following him for a little while and he is um very beautiful not shy lots of pictures um um i am i am trying to figure out 
where he is from. Because I don't know if he's American. I mean, he, if he's from U.S. I could be wrong, but I, I don't know for sure. But he is so cute. And um, he loves his butt. And he loves putting it out there. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, and, oh, and this, oh, there's, says, there's the dick. Tell me what you do to, do to me. So many things. That's his thing. And, it, and it's kind of sad because it doesn't really have any replies to it. So. Well, he has one. Two, maybe? Two, two. I think it has two. Yeah. yeah. One GIF and one actual like text reply. I'm going to say not the U.S. because I've spotted like one thing that kind of like I don't recognize. So I looking, and I usually I, I there are certain there are a few things that do give oh give it away, and it's harder to they're harder to find, but they will almost immediately give it away. Um, usually, if you look at things that are plugged in, if you can get a big picture of that, um, that's a, and we don't um, and we don't mean plugged not in, in the butt hole. like yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actual actual electronics plugged into walls. That's what I'm looking. That's what I'm talking about. Um, um, sometimes you can find that, but it's a little bit harder to find at times. Are you really sharing that on the screen, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I clicked the button and it popped up. But then, like, oh, oh, oh um, I'm not sharing sure. it with with them. No, I know, but like we're not all already scrolling through his. I his mean, we're all, yeah, we are. Re- yes, reading I just his. I clicked a thing his and he put on screen. I forgot I'm sharing my entire screen, so that's fine. Yeah, like we're uh, not reading his tweet that says "fuck me, daddy" or yeah, "I made me wolf" or "fuck luck and pound." Uh, yeah, he's yeah, he's locked again, that like, me into a thirsty hoe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's definitely again not shy and like. Oh. Anyway, oh wait, maybe this will maybe this will do it. Come on, give it to me. Let's go. And uh, shit. I I <laughs> oh well. Anyway, anyway, we should move on. <laughs> well, let's, we'll move on to you then. Ah, so um. As you know, I have been, I am a, quite a big fan of Cigar Perv Dad. Um, he was on Tumblr and he's recently, you know, I think I mentioned last month that he had moved over to Twitter and I'm just sharing one of his um, pride pictures. I'm actually not perving so much on him. You know, I mean, it's a great picture and he's good because he's got his beard with some, his, his glitter beard with the pride rainbow, you know, colors on it and um, a big chain necklace. And it says better pick because if you look at it, there was another one that he had posted the day before, um, which I'm assuming was him in the car after his pride festival. Or before. When they do. Before, before you know. It was light yeah. out. We don't know. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. But he, you know, he's just super handsome, and this is a really good picture. I like the first one better because he's smiling. You know, not that he's not that there's anything wrong with the second picture, with the kind of not really side eye, but come hither, like look, I'm looking at you, I see you over there. Yeah, that that's kind of fun. Yeah, this this photo is hella gay. <laughs> record i'm just saying yeah Yeah. there is nothing wrong with that i think he's kind of smirky in the in the 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 one you're sharing Mm -hmm. like he he's happy about his look and it's just kind of like looking inside like it's just not as big as the other one Mm -hmm. yeah so that's mine gary uh, so I have two. One, the first one is called Lovely Composite, and it is uh, a, f- a previous COL pedestal 
member, Mr. J. Mobear. Oh. And he says, this lovely composite was created by my friend uh, Thomas Tommaso Wilson. Uh, he said, I'm not sure if he's on Twitter, but it became my new banner today. I don't get to go to the beach very much, but this makes me feel like I'm there. And what they did was they took pictures of him from his various pictures or videos in his infamous colorful Speedos. And mm -hmm. it is from left to right going red, orange, yellow, green, blue, uh, like purple, and then kind of a pinky, rose, gold, and black. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's pretty cool, like, to see that come up as a... And, yeah, I think some of these are doubles. Like, he, he's not actually wearing the, the, the color um, um, uh... Like, like, it's the same image, it's just the, the color, the they changed the color of the speedos. Yeah. yeah. That's but fine. Still, mm -hmm. It's always good to see Jabo's butt make him look <laughs> like <laughs> Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. For Damon, and, that is his best asset. <laughs> uh -huh. And the second one, um, I called it Professor with Coffee because Professor Rick um, from Twitter uh, says Professor with Coffee, Capital Pride Weekend. T-shirt from Boys in the Band, Lambda Cup from the 1970s. Anyone old enough to remember when the community used the Lambda symbol? I am, because I'm old. Uh, <laughs> hashtag Proud Gay Elder, hashtag Papa Bear Pride, hashtag Silver Daddy. And the T-shirt is really what caught my attention, because it's a black T-shirt with pink letters, and it says, Swish, Mary, Sissy, Queer, Fairy, Pansy, Faggot. Wow. And I was like, well, that just kind of says it, doesn't it? Like. Um, yeah. Controversial yet brave. Yes, yes. So I, uh, I really, really um, thought it was fun. And then in the second yeah. picture, he takes the shirt off, and you're not quite sure if he's wearing any clothes or not because he has his um, gold leaf. Uh, it's not really embossed, but a printed lambda symbol uh, coffee cup. It's like kind of like a battleship gray uh, color with the gold on it. So, but I do remember a very long time ago, like the lambda. Uh, Legal Defense Fund mm -hmm. was an organization and Lambda, uh, you know, um, Greek letter was used um, as a recognition point for gay pride and rec remembrance and stuff. So, yeah, I, th I think that was, that, cool. that was a Greek letter that was like in some college groups use. Mm -hmm. It's much more popular, I want to say, in the 80s and the yeah. 90s. It's so. one of the more. Um, yeah, it's a it's a known, you know, Greek letter. Um, it's just I I remember it vaguely as one of the symbols to mean like gay. I forget what it means. There's because there's a reason why it's chosen. So give me a moment. And uh, meaning, we'll see what it says. Um, yes, I know it's the eleventh. Um, what does lambda symbolize? That's a good question. Okay. Uh, oh. Did you find it, David? Almost. So on Wikipedia, it says, in 1970, a lowercase lambda was chosen by Tom Dorr, that's D-O-E-R-R, -R, as a symbol of the New York chapter of the Gay Activists Alliance. Mm. And the lambda symbol became associated with the gay liberation and recognizes the LGBT, LGBT symbol for some time afterwards being used as such by the International Gay Rights Congress in Edinburgh um, and the gay rights organization Lambda Legal and the Lambda Literacy Foundation, among others. Hmm. Well, now you know. So it's not so much that the letter's gay or <laughs> that it, you know, got... it, it referenced gays in Greek culture, per se. It just got picked, essentially. So... Uh... Uh... <laughs> nice anyways moving on into our links uh i got a link uh, which goes with my obsession late as of late um oh i had a thing about this so 
written by uh, Masayoshi Soken, with lyrics by uh, Michael Christopher Koji Fox, vocals of of Amanda Ashton Keenan and Jason Charles Miller, um, who did the original Critical Role theme song, by the way. Um, the theme song to Shatterbringers, the Final Fantasy XIV expansion, um, is amazing. It's freaking cool. I uh, actually spent a day with it on repeat because I'm obsessed with the song. Um, mm. Somebody did a lyric video for it. And I think they did a really good job because they took the um, uh, trailer for the expansion and basically they played the just the song so you don't hear any of the, the, the VO of the voice actors that are doing the regular trailer. And they have a really, really well-looking lyrics showing up. So it's very um, karaoke-esque. But it doesn't like have a bouncy ball or anything. It just says, like, here's the line, here's the line, here's the line. But it also shows the other next line, like right below it. And it's beautiful looking. Mm. And the song is just cool. Cool. Awesome. I'll have to look at that at some point. Mm -hmm. so that's my Meat. Point. Oh, I can't see myself. Nice hey, short, sweet, to the point. David there you go. He doesn't have anything, right? No. <laughs> and Gary, uh, what's been going on with you and Netflix and Disney Plus? Yeah, so uh, on Netflix, there's a cute animated film called Wish Dragon um, that I enjoyed. Uh, it's probably most likely like really meant for like kind of like kids and, and YA uh, teen kind of stuff. But it was really cute. It's sort of a modern take on Aladdin. Um mm -hmm. Because it's the concept of a genie and wishes, but it takes place in an Asian country. I'm not going to go further with that because I'm probably going to claim the wrong one. Um, so it's it's different. Uh, mm. So the genie, instead of being a genie, is called a wish dragon. But it's the same concept. So you get you know certain wishes, certain things you can and can't do. Um, but it was really fun. I like watching it. It was enjoyable. So um, I recommend that. And then uh, there's a series called Self Made, inspired by the life of Madam C J Walker. And I had heard of this before. And I have a tendency to like save things on my Netflix. And then um, I don't watch Netflix that much. So I like when I go in, sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, there's this thing from like a year ago or whatever. I want to go back and watch. Um, so I really enjoyed this series. Um, if you do have Netflix to watch it, I do recommend it um, yeah. because it is really interesting to watch um, this uh, series talk about um, this woman who was like the first self-made entrepreneur millionaire who happened to be a woman and be black in mm -hmm. the United States. Um, she's played by Octavia, Octavia Spencer, who I enjoy and did a really great job. Now, importantly, I've included a couple other links. One of them is the Madam C.J. Walker website, so you can learn more about actual Madam C.J. Walker, who she was, um, and her naming and that kind of stuff. And more importantly, her great-great-granddaughter, Aaliyah um, Bundle's response, because she has been championing uh, her great-great-grandmother's legacy and was slightly involved in the making of the series for Netflix, but she talks about like what Hollywood did in the course of making it and like the the falsehoods of the fiction versus the mm -hmm. truth and some other stuff. And I think it's really important for people to understand like when you watch something that's based on a real person to grasp and be like, okay, where does some of this stuff come from? Um, Tiffany Haddish yeah. is in it as well. Um, mm. And I actually thought she did a good job for a dramatic role. Um, mm. You know, because uh, she's not everybody's cup of tea necessarily for comedy. So I could see where some people would be, you know, like not really interested in her um, for a, a drama role. But yeah, so each episode's about 45 to 50 minutes long. So it is a little mm -hmm. bit of, of a dedication to watch it. But I liked it. And I'm glad that I like got a little education out of it. Cool. And then <clears throat> over on Disney Plus, if you haven't already heard about it, uh, there was a movie that came out this month called Luca. And um, honestly, like on the premise, I wasn't that interested in it. It's about uh, two boys who are – it's set in a seaside town in the Italian Riviera. It's approximately the 1950s. 
And these boys are wanting to get themselves a Vespa because that's like, you know, the cool thing to get around. However, these adventures um, have a little bit of a thing because Alberto and Luca are considered sea monsters by the locals. They actually come from a living underneath the ocean. They're like a kind of like mermen, but not really. They're more like a mm-hmm. kind of like a, a half human, half dragon. It's kind of mm-hmm. hard to explain. Like, yeah, I don't have to watch it. So anytime they're wet, their real identity is revealed. But they go ashore to the seaside town. And when you're dry and you're on land, you transform and you change into a human being. So it's not so much like, you know, the Little Mermaid where you have to, like, sell your soul or, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, what was the one with Tom Hanks and uh, Splash? Name? Right. It's not like Splash. But it's sort of like that. I mean, so anyways, it's really good. But here's the reason why people kind of lost their 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 poop over this. It has an amazing <laughs> uh, subtext about hiding your identity and mm-hmm. coming out and fearing coming out and what that would mean. Um, mm-hmm. Because Luca and Alberto try to hide their identity but they um, end up befriending a young girl uh, whose father is a fisherman um, presumed to be a sea monster hunter. So Mm. it's this like, there's this drama and there's this other stuff, but it's really, it's really good. Um, It's kind of heartwarming, a little predictable. Uh, I will say that there is a surprise towards the very end of the film that I did not clock and pick up on, but to be fair, I wasn't really looking um, mm. to pick up on something, but it was it was a fun reveal in a moment. I was kind of like, oh, oh, okay, that's cute. Like that's you a know. thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. So, um, so anyways, I recommend if you have Disney Plus to check it out because it was very fun and it's very much affirming. And it was, and I've listened to some film critic reviews, and they're kind of like, it's kind of obvious that they released it in Pride Month on purpose mm. so, because the boys do have this preteen angsty like kind of you know like they love to do things together and then one gets jealous of the other because they're doing things with the girl like there's there's that whole like you know when you're possibly about to go through puberty and like how you you know feel about certain things so yeah Mm. so it's considered a coming of age film but uh it's about an hour and 41 uh minutes long it's newly released this year and it, it is it's really it's really fun it's cute so cool. Nice. Yeah. Yay. So those are my recommendations. <sighs> hey, guess what, folks? That's the end. Aw. Play well, ladies contact us, pop over to our website, comes out loud.com. Shoot us an email at comes out loud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail at 361 C O L POC. That's 361 265 8255. You can find us on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. You can also join our entourage chat and chat with us live at or at any time, actually, at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash col. You can find out when we're planning on recording these live by going to tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. You can get various accoutrements such as a Sloppy Bottom 23 shirt or consent is my foreplay trans pride shirt. Drag. Oh, that's drag. Sorry. Colors. Drag. Look, I, I was looking at the colors, which look very much like the, it's drag because of the crown it's drag anyways uh but it's understandable that you would yeah swap it yeah. the colors i was looking at the colors not that logo anyways it's fine uh, anyway it's you... all over on zazzle.com slash come out loud uh you can also become a patron like frank b did uh coming in the new bell um, at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, or if you want to send us some cash, it's paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Um, it's funny, I'm in Texas, and these two guys are, are fanning themselves because they're hot. I find that funny. Anyways, side note. You can subscribe to us on basically any any platform. That's Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Amazon, Audible, and, well, it should be anywhere. You can find me anywhere on the internet as Box Box, Poppy Box Cub, or uh, Box Something or Other, or Windjum, W Y N D G E M, over on Twitch. 
where I've been streaming some uh, Final Fantasy XIV, and that's where we stream Bears and Dragons when we do it, because we're trying to figure out schedules right now, because of things. Damon. Mm -hmm. If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me at TheaterCup79, or most bear-related sites are on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. If you would like to find me online, you can pretty much find me anywhere as Gabriel73. Uh, the Twitter that we were referencing today is Gabriel73XXX. And for the record, the reason I'm fanning myself is because it is 83 degrees in my office right now. So, yeah. I'm just finding irony here. The guy in Texas isn't isn't like, oh, I'm so hot. But the guy up uh, much further north than me <laughs> is. I just find that funny. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> and with that say good night everybody and thank you to the following patrons good night everybody ciao for now <laughs>